Previously on The Potentialists. It was really hot. I don't think it gets this hot in Miami. Incredible thing you have ever seen in your entire life. I was imagining a huge coliseum. This is the laugh of the naked people proving it to you. He's so cute. Tiny. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Hello, good morning. <laughs> well, we had the best tour guide. Gosh, he was so awesome. Where are you from? Miami, Florida. <laughs> so all these different countries, not a lot of, you know, kids like me, I'm only 12 and I've been around the world like a lot of times and not a lot of kids actually get to do this and I'm really happy to be able to have this lifestyle. That place was huge, huge. It was like a metropolitan city and then some. It was like people, like New York stacked on top of New York, stacked on top of New York. There were dogs scattered around the city, stray dogs. <laughs> like you see cats everywhere, there were dogs everywhere. I don't think they have a dog pound. No one really knows how they got there. And big dogs, not little dogs, no, no, no huge dogs, like German Shepherd, Rottweilers, I mean big dogs. And they're relaxing. Actually there's three, four, five. Wow, there's dogs there. did you see that? What is it? Dog sleeping area. Wow. In fact, there were places that I would sit there and I got the hang of it that they weren't going to bite me because they were too hot to bite. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah, he is. Takes a while to get up here. I'm still not at the top. I'm on my way there. But look behind what we left. Amazing. I'm going to the top. Couple more stairs. All right, too many stairs, man. Whew. The sun's starting to come out and it is hot. Well, Athens, oh my gosh. You know, it's like a dream come true to be standing there in front of the uh, Parthenon and- Look at this, all made of marble. Holy cow, that's beautiful. Got some restoration going on over there. Are they restoring it to white or? Like you really can't tell what they're doing. Here we go. The projects for restoring the lateral walls of the cella began in 1992. And you can see over here how they're just putting everything to the side as they build and they take the pieces up and if you see the cleaner pieces that's exactly what they're doing just very carefully what are you guys doing from japan archaeologists from japan architects oh and more architects over here and more architects over here from japan whenever you look over you climb into a hill to go visit you know uh, uh, one of the sites and you look over the hill and you can see another site and another site and another site it's just spectacular all these wonderful things they're huge and they're all over the city you can actually see the entire city of how many people are there and then the cool thing was something that's from back in the day and then something that's modern so there was like a mixture of you know, past, present, and future as you're looking through the city. The population is amazing. It's about five million inhabitants here. And you can definitely see it with all these apartments. <laughs> to represent peace, an olive tree was planted in the middle of the Pantheon. The Temple of Zeus. There was humongous? Humongous. Humongous. We're cruising Athens in a Mercedes van, dude. So cool. He said not a van, it's a limo. <laughs> Even the buses are Mercedes. Mercedes, -Benz. Mercedes over there. Athens was really cool because we had this really amazing taxi driver drive us around the city. So, Domingo is our driver. Not only does he give first class service, you're in a beautiful brand new Mercedes. He waits for you every time you get off of somewhere. And while you're driving there, he's giving you all the city facts because water. Domingo is the man. Right, Domingo? Yeah, see? Uh -huh. Domingo was saying that buses are not allowed up here. Okay. So that we were able to get up here is cool. But you can see the entire city. And it went from two million to five million people. So they've created more and more homes. So if you look, it looks like a, an ocean of homes. I've never seen anything like this. What a beautiful view. I went all the way to the top. Breathtaking. They have benches. Look at them. 
We lost Bert. We thought maybe he fell over the edge over here. We've been for about 10 minutes looking for him. Oh. Sabrina's been walking everywhere. Domingo went up the stairs and way down yonder comes my husband. We've been whistling and screaming you know and what? nothing. That's number But one. guess what, Bert? We're just about to drive up there. You didn't have to walk. It's amazing. You didn't tell anybody where you were going. You did not tell my dad. He wasn't paying attention. Uh, when, so, when you tell someone, they Very gotta pay attention. attention. Breathtaking. Yeah? Literally, that, that was We were looking for you down the freaking side, thinking you fell because nobody knew where you were. Athens has great, great, great shopping. <laughs> gotta go back for the shopping. Uh, we picked up a couple things, you know, a couple art pieces and stuff. And, and what I picked up another piece from one of my collections, which is I collect. Christmas ornaments from around the world every time I travel somewhere and I like to have you know like an international tree every year so this is my one of my newest additions so we're driving through Athens going to our next location lampoon vacation style thing and Sabrina says stop look they're changing the car it's over there so we get down and Sabrina and I are the ones that got out of the car it was too hot everybody else was dying of thirst or heat or something so when Sabrina got yelled at by the guards so now we see some Soldiers that I think are changing. Let's go Hot. see. Hot. The <laughs> Hot. Two, three. Look at their shoes. Things. And they have huge <laughs> clown shoes. Hi. <laughs> Make them look away real quick. Hey. Right now, we're going to take a picture with the, the change of guards. And they can't move? I don't know. You can do whatever you want and they can't move? Yeah, I'm gonna mess with him. She was trying to not be serious when the guards were very strict, serious, you know, like the London guards. Hi! Nah, he can't move. Come here, Sabrina. I just got in trouble. She was trying to be funny and they gave us attitude. One by one, one by one, one by one. Be serious, please. Thank you. Start doing funny stuff or whatever. And uh, a cop looks at him and goes, you're not allowed to do that. And we're like, huh? <laughs> Why aren't you serious? Because I'm not a serious person. So he quickly shoot us away and we got our picture though. <laughs> <laughs> one by one, be serious. It was pretty funny when she came back, she was like, I got yelled at. The first Olympic Games happened here in the stadium. The first Olympic Games. <laughs> a lot. Huh? A lot. The torch okay. is staying in Nancy and Olivia. During the four years that we don't have Olympic Games, six months before the Games, they bring it here. They get the torch all over Greece to all uh, the cities until three months before the Games that the athlete of the city that organizes the, the upcoming Games every four years took the torch to take it to the city that organizes the Games. To, for this year was Beckham that beat it and get it to London. David Beckham, that plays in Los Angeles Galaxy. Nice. So this is the ancient Angora, and this is what's left. This is uh, three arches that were preserved. This was used as a church at one period, and it's also in the center of the city from ancient Angora. So there's a lot of history in this little piece right here. They also use this to tell time. I would definitely go back. One of the things that we love to do because of what we do is we travel the world and there's nothing like going there and seeing it live. There is no book, no multimedia city, no interactive city that will give you the same feeling as you being there at the place, live and in color. I like traveling the world with my family and you know friends and things like that because you get to see things that you've never seen before and experience different things that you've never heard of, seen thought of different things like that that you've it's just an experience hey yo how you doing check this out it's Serge from Bowl World you better like us and if you got something to say leave a comment and check this out if you really got the guts subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me?